Jews and the Christians and the Is Islamic nations to fight amongst themselves so that at the right time they can come forward and be dominant. And this is exactly uh, the answer to your question. So we could be looking at another, uh, more mass murders, more mass murders on a grand scale as we did with Hitler. Absolutely, or, or at least to get people to renounce their faith. I mean, if you look at the, 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 the biblical prophecies on that, they're very clear that, that people will be put to death if they don't renounce uh, Christianity. Yeah, I, I have a feeling that I am a strong candidate for that, because I, I went to a, a Christian school as a child, uh, a Lutheran school in Zion Lutheran, and um, I, I just won't give up Christ, I can't do it. And, you know, for, everyone has their own God, you know, and, and what they believe in, and I, I do believe that people are being targeted, a lot, I, a lot of religious persecution at this point. So, why don't, why don't we go into your, your books, um, you've, you've given us so much information, and I want everyone to know about your books as well, and what's going on with them, and what they're about, and um, how to find you if they would like to order a book from you. Thank you for the opportunity. Well, I have two book series. Uh, there's the Fatal Rebirth series, uh, and uh, the original series was the uh, Professional Paranoid series. Professional Paranoid was written for persons who were being targeted and uh, essentially non-PCT methods, you know, uh, the typical person being followed or investigated or targeted or harassed. Now, organized stalking would be in there. Um, but uh, at the time it was originally written, uh, mind control as a concept was thought to be a very rare thing. Funny thing was that uh, so many people wrote me asking for help because I do offer consulting. Uh, with mind control problems that I realized that I had only scratched the surface of a very, very large iceberg. So that prompted me to do uh, additional research and write uh, MC Realities, which specifically addresses PCT. And uh, the, the purpose of both books is to help people be somewhat uh, uh, self-reliant in, in uh, recognizing and combating these kinds of, of uh, tactics uh, if they become targeted. Um, at the same time, um, I do offer uh, direct consultations to folks uh, who, who uh, want the uh, even more direct and more uh, personal help. Um, then I came out with uh, the Defensive Field Guide, which is sort of a summation of all of my writings in various places, uh, meant to be kind of a little pocket uh, tool to be carried by someone who either needs to to defend themselves directly or uh, who is uh, in a situation of being evangelist to the cause, so to speak, and they need to offer some sort of printed evidence to people that these things are actually taking place because nobody wants to believe in the boogeyman. You can talk about it and people just go, yeah, yeah, you're another one of those. But if you can show them that, yeah, the government did do this in such and such a date and time or this particular technology does exist, here's the patent number, uh, you, you start to at least get them to be open to hearing your message. So that's the purpose of that book. It is out of print right now in terms of hard copy, but all of my books are also available on uh, as an e-book that I can send by email. And, uh, in fact, I want to make a, a special offer to the Edge members. My e-books... Um, uh, if you wish to get them as a set, either the Fatal Rebirth set or and or the Professional Paranoid set, I would uh, make them available to you at half price. Um, it's a little complex to say over the air, so just go to ProParanoidPress.com to get the That's uh, ProParanoidPress.com to get the pricing. And then uh, if you just simply send me an email and mention the edge, uh, then I'll give you the, the special discounted rate. And uh, uh, payment information, everything is at ProParanoidPress.com as well. And uh, also, uh, the Fatal Rebirth books, that kind of arose out of the overall 10-year uh, uh, running battle with the intelligence communities that I personally underwent in learning why they feared the document that I had come into possession with. And uh, that led to just about the whole ball of wax. Um, it takes a look at all the history of the United States from rough, roughly the 1940s, mid-40s forward, all the way into the future. Where is all this nightmarish 
history leading. It basically shows that all the strange bumps in the night of American history, everything from the Kennedy assassination to uh, the savings and loan disasters, these are not random events, in my opinion, and uh, by research that I offer in the way of footnotes in this book, a uh, book set, actually it's four volumes, uh, over 1,500 footnotes uh, indicate that these are related events and they have a stepwise logical goal, which is the overthrow of the country and eventually the establishment of a new world order. And uh, it shows how it's going to take place in the, as far as the future portion. And actually, in 1999, I wrote a screenplay based on fatal rebirth research that depicted acts of terrorism resulting in the downing of the World Trade Center by jet airliners and resulting in Middle East wars. And that was published on my website in 1999. Uh, and I also predicted, uh, was very concerned that as a logical stepwise uh, next step, uh, and I'm sorry, I'll, I'll go back and say that the reason I put that screenplay out is because I felt that that was a next logical step in the plan. If you see a plan in development and you know the goal, you can guess what the next steps might be, at least to a degree. One of the other steps that I guessed, if you will, was that Ross Perot would withdraw from his presidential campaign based on threats to himself or his family. I warned the Secret Service and his own staff about that, and some weeks later he actually did withdraw. And then some months later I learned that it was because of mailed anthrax uh, attacks against his family. So we can see the future, and so Fatal Rebirth attempts to show us two possible futures. One if we do nothing, and one if we arm ourselves. So I feel that's a very important book study. It does make some specific predictions about the next two major terrorist events, and with those events will come uh, my firm belief, and as I stated already by certain military uh, powers, if there is another major wave of terrorism, they will, they will suspend the Constitution, and we will at that point have our military police state. The new Constitution has already been written. It's ready to bring excuse me, uh, bring into the wings and uh, bring in from the wings and when they uh, put that into place it itself empowers the government to hand over the, the reins of power to uh, a, a uh, one world government pardon me, I'll get a drink of water here okay. so those are my two book sets and uh, learn more about those at proparanoidpress.com my principal website for researchers would be proparanoid.net. The original .com uh, website was hijacked, and they won $157,000 to get it back. You can learn about that there as well. Kind of interesting. Very interesting. And then, um, because usually when you hijack a website, you ask for a couple hundred dollars. So obviously they really want it off the air. Um, well, they want also, the control. You're giving too much information that could be used against them. So... And then another website that you you might enjoy is aboutus.org. If you type in the professional paranoid, you'll find a set of pages there that represent my bona fides. And there's a very fun thing there called a, a, a politically, uh, uh, see, the People's uh, Revolutionary Dictionary. So politically correct uh, uh, definitions for, for terms. It includes code words and things. And everybody's invited to play and create their own definitions. So I'd invite you to do that. And if anybody is targeted, do send me an email. That would be proparanoid at comcast.net. I answer all the email personally. Keep everything generic and brief. You don't need to tell me a long list of, of uh, things. You do not need to convince me of one single thing by trying to prove it with uh, facts and figures. I just need to know if you have a problem, what's the nature of the problem and then I can initiate a process. I do have a free helps kit. Anybody that writes me on any cause will be entitled to a free sample of the newsletter, the one that Gina's referencing with all the definitions. The well, 